Middle Path Radio, your number one online Islamic talk station. Assalamu alaikum. Um, brothers and sisters, I've just uh, been watching the news, uh, and I'm sure you have as well. It's interesting that in Turkey there has been a coup d'etat, and obviously the military are claiming that they've taken over control of Turkey. Um, and at the moment, uh, the uh, Recep Erdogan is in an undisclosed place somewhere and he's asking, requesting the people of Turkey to resist the coup d'etat. It's also interesting that the Western governments, uh, especially the American Foreign Secretary and the British Foreign Secretary, have just, just g given a speech on this issue and have asked for people to remain calm. And at the same time, they have not condemned the coup d'etat. Uh, the, the point here is that uh, the government of uh, Erdogan was uh, elected through a democratic means in Turkey. It's a well-established fact that he wasn't a dictator, but he was an appointed uh, uh, president uh, and the people of Turkey uh, elected for him. So one would expect the Western governments and the establishments in the West to expose the coup d'etat. But on the contrary, they are actually not exposing and asking people to remain calm uh, and want to see how th things and events unfold in Turkey. So my point is that isn't that uh, 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 abuse of the uh, of democratic process? Are, are they not making a mockery of the democratic process, which they dearly love? So this is uh, it's going to be interesting to see how events unfold in the next few uh, days, inshallah. So keep an open mind and think before you rush into any conclusions. Assalamu alaikum.